Hello and welcome to Rando Tech Info. So today we're testing the two most common types of 5G in order to answer two simple questions. The first question is, is one type of 5G really faster than the other? And the second question is, do you really need either one? Now, there are actually three different types of 5G. So if you want to learn more about all of those, then feel free to click on the link either over my head or down in the description of this video to learn more about them. And if you're really into that kind of stuff, then you might want to think about subbing to the channel. That's a great idea. For today's video, I'm going to give you the super short description of each. First, we have low band, or what a lot of people refer to as sub six 5G. If you live in the US and the fancy little 5G icon lights up on your fancy little 5G phone, then that's probably the type of 5G you're getting. It has a fairly large coverage footprint, but it offers the slowest of all the 5G speeds. Next, we have millimeter wave 5G, which is really, really fast, but has almost no coverage. In fact, the only country right now in the world that even offers millimeter wave 5G is here in the US. And even if you do live here in the US, it's only offered in very densely populated major cities. And even if you do happen to live in one of those major cities, you're probably not going to get very good coverage because you can only get a signal when you're standing outside because millimeter waves can't pass through pesky things like Walls. Finally, we have mid-band 5G. Mid-band 5G does not quite have the footprint of sub-6 5G, but it's faster. It's not quite as fast as millimeter wave 5G, but it covers a lot more area. It's kind of the 5G happy medium, and it's the type of 5G that you'll find in most parts of the world. As of right now, here in the US, T-Mobile is the only carrier that offers mid-band 5G. The good news is both Verizon and AT&T recently purchased the rights to more frequency bands from the FCC that should allow them to start utilizing mid-band 5G on their networks in the near future, hopefully by the end of the year. Today we are just speed testing mid-band and sub-6 5G. We're skipping millimeter wave 5G because we already know millimeter wave 5G is crazy fast, but its coverage is just so limited its speeds are largely irrelevant. Now, obviously to test mid-band 5G speeds, I will have to use T-Mobile and I want it to be known I have absolutely no affiliation with T-Mobile, they just happen to be the carrier that I use. T-Mobile has recently released a new, more detailed coverage map which lets you know what type of 5G is available where you live. And this is actually what has inspired me to create the video since now I can tell what type of 5G I'm getting and I can travel to different areas to get the type of 5G I want to test. So for today's testing, I will be using my Galaxy S21 Ultra. And the way I'm going to run the test is that I'm going to visit various locations using T-Mobile's coverage map. Some of those locations will have mid-band coverage and some will only have sub-6 coverage. And in each location, I'm going to run two data speed tests. The first test in each location will be with the 5G antennas on my phone turned on, then I will take another speed test with the 5G antennas turned off. This will not only give us a good comparison between the different types of 5G speeds, but also give us a good comparison between 5G and 4G speeds. Got it? Good. Let's test. Many hours later. So my assistant Luke and I visited several locations around town. We went to the movie theater, a classic car dealership, the local ice cream shop, a playground, a T-Mobile store, and White Castle, just to name a few. In total, we visited almost a dozen different locations around town and the results were very interesting. The first thing you might notice is speeds varied wildly between locations. 4G download speeds went as fast as 150 megabits per second and as slow as 27.1 megabits per second. Sub-6 5G speeds topped out at 215 megabits per second down but were sometimes as slow as 48 megabits per second down. Mid-band 5G actually had decent consistency going as high as 425 megabits per second down, but never being slower than 298 megabits per second down, which is still pretty dang fast. The next thing to take away from this test is that sub-6 5G was generally faster than 4G. When testing download speed, sub-6 was always faster than 4G, although sometimes it was close. Upload speeds, on the other hand, were all over the place. One location had upload speeds that were 10 times faster on 5G and another location where 5G upload speeds were actually slower, although not by much. On average, sub-6 5G had 39% faster download speeds and it had 294% faster upload speeds. The next thing to take away from this test is mid-band 5G download speeds are legit. On average, mid-band download speeds clocked in at 359 megabits per second, making them over three times faster than the sub-6 download speeds 
and over four and a half times faster than 4G download speeds. Perhaps the strangest thing we learned from this test was that mid-band 5G upload speeds were actually slower than sub-6 upload speeds. In fact, mid-band upload speeds were less than half as fast as their sub-6 counterparts. I have no explanation for this except that maybe T-Mobile knows that when people are checking speeds, they normally check or prioritize download speeds, so perhaps they're allocating more of their bandwidth to that end. No. The bottom line is, while 5G might not be as great as carriers want us to believe, there are definitely some benefits, especially with mid-band 5G and download speeds. Heck, mid-band download speeds are actually faster than the download speeds most people get at home on their Wi-Fi, and that's actually pretty impressive. The benefits of 5G upload speeds are a bit more questionable, but I'm not actually sure how important that is unless you're a content creator or somebody else who uploads a lot of large files. Well, that's all the information I have for one day, but I'm curious, what are your thoughts about 5G? Let me know down in the comments, and if you can, let me know what type of 5G speeds you get in your part of the world. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.